Our next speaker is the runner-up for Charlie Sheen's Tiger Intern. What that means, you can ask her all about it later, but please welcome Rachel Downey. Hi. So here's the thing, if you're here, not to steal Eric's opening line, but if you're here, you're probably interested in trying to figure out how to grow a show, right? How to get more downloads, the quest for more. We think up gimmicks and shticks and things like that to get more people to show up and pay attention to our podcast. But here's the thing, guys. Downloads, they don't matter. <gasps> I know. At least not in the way you're thinking about it today. I read an article that was written in 2016. It said something like, the average podcast gets 150 to 160 uh, downloads per episode. It's 2019. That's pretty much the same stat today. So my point is, it's not that you need 1,000 more downloads per episode. It's that you don't know what to do with the 100 downloads that you do have. So we're going to talk about that. How do you figure out who's listening to your show? There's a lot of opportunities with podcasting, a lot of challenges as well. And one of those challenges is that you actually don't know who is listening and you don't know why they're listening. The only way that you know is if they raise their hand and let you know. Meet 1,246. I got an email. That email said something like, hey Rachel, love your show, content, format, blah, 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 you're amazing. Hashtag Big fan, hashtag not creepy, okay? <laughs> Signed, Jim. Oh my gosh, how did Jim know to email me? How do I engage more Jims? How do I engage the Jim that I do have? And it hit me. You gotta ask. Attracting people to your show, getting them to download your show, guys, that's marketing. And there's a ton of great ideas on how to market your show. But the power of this medium, the power that all of us have, is that we have the opportunity to build a community, to engage with people, to have conversations. And what if that was the goal for podcasting? What if we shifted our focus from, I want thousands and thousands of downloads, which of course is awesome, right? But like, what if you shifted it from downloads to names? How do I get people to engage? How do I get more people to raise their hand? I'm gonna take you to church for a minute and hear me out, it's not a bait and switch situation. But what churches do, really well sometimes, is they care about building communities. And so when you go to a church for the first time, a lot of times they have a first time guest plan in place. What if you did the same thing with your podcast? What if you had a first time listener plan in place? And that could look like an ask, hey man, come back, right? It could be the idea of rolling out the red carpet, giving somebody an exclusive experience because they're a first time listener. It's the idea of building, it's the idea of inviting them back. And once you've got some listeners in place, you can start to build what we're calling a community center. That community center is a place for your, your listeners that you do have to actually engage with you, to engage with other people in that community. It could be an online resource, it can be an online forum, it could be anything that makes sense for your audience. And once you've got that audience in place, you'll start to identify who the gyms are, right? The people that are really engaging with the community. We're gonna call those your board of directors. How do you get your board of directors to share the content? So the way to grow a podcast, the way to grow podcast listeners is to get podcast listeners to share the podcast they listen to. I didn't write that, but say that 10 times fast. Just kidding, we don't have time. But here's the deal. The way to grow your podcast is to get your podcast listeners to share their podcast. So if you got your board of directors, you gotta equip them. I'm gonna take you back to Jim for a second. Jim emailed me, I emailed him back, I engaged him, and I asked him two things. Hey buddy, would you invite a friend? Would you share my show? Of course he said yes, because he was Jim and he liked me. But thanks to things like Smart links, thank you, Chartable. You can actually figure out how many friends Jim is inviting to my show. And I can also figure out what content he needs to do a better job of sharing my content, right? Because that's hard. Actually creating the stuff from the show, that takes a little bit of skill. So let's help the gyms out in the world. And as a challenge to you guys, what if we did redefine success in podcasting? So instead of downloads, we focused on building community. And seriously, it's to sound corny as hell and it's okay, but like every single one of you, if you run a podcast, you have the opportunity to change the world within your existing communities. And that's a lot of power and it's super exciting. So real quickly, first time listener plan, get that in place, be intentional. Number two, build that community center. And it could be whatever it is that makes sense for your audience. Number three, equip the members, that was the board of directors, with the content to share and grow your show. And there's two things you can do tomorrow that can help implement some of the stuff I'm talking about. Number one, create an ad. Create that ask, that call to action that you can put into your show. And listen, your, your first time asking people to engage with you, you might get zero response. Keep asking or ask differently so that you actually get a response because there are the gyms out there for you as well. 
Number two, equip them with the content to share. I've said that, I'll say it 100 million times <laughs> because people aren't as good at what you do as you are. So make sure that they feel equipped and empowered to actually share your content. And finally, guys, let's have fun. This is podcasting, and you can build whatever community you want. Cheers. <laughs>